Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be, who does the narcissist surround themselves with? Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So who does the narcissist surround themselves with? Let's dig into this. When you were with the narcissist, if you looked around carefully, you would notice that the narcissist surrounds themselves with many types of people. Now, these people are, they tend to come and go. You see, like, the narcissist does not have many long-term friends, at least not in my experience. They have interchangeable parts, interchangeable people that they utilize when they want to and how they want to. It's as if the narcissist always has, their, it's, it's, a, it's as if they're juggling people. It really is. Now, this, what it means is the narcissist really, they, they surround themselves with people that don't actually understand who they are. You see, these people, the enablers, or the fly monkeys, or the people that are trapped in the narcissist's uh, snare, meaning like, let's say, immediate family members that rely on them for money or things like that. All these people, they think the narcissist is like the best thing on the planet. They really do. Why? Because they get small doses of them. They, they don't spend quality time with them. Like, let's say, if you were in a romantic relationship or you were married to a narcissist, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you saw both sides of the narcissist. You saw the narcissist behind closed doors, which is just flat out evil. And you saw the public perception of the narcissist, how, how they portray themselves to everybody else. But with the people that the narcissist surrounds themselves with, like, let's say, their friends, or acquaintances or business associates these people they get a small dose of the narcissist here and there they don't get an extended amount of time with the narcissist so their image of the narcissist is most likely wow what a great person what a great family kind loving they're giving a society they're, they're always you know positive and all these things what they don't realize is the narcissist is wearing the mask and fooling them just like the narcissist fooled you and just like the narcissist has fooled virtually everybody they've encountered so the narcissist, what they do is they're gonna look for people. They're gonna look for people that, honestly, that have low self-esteem or have no boundaries or that are gonna buy into the narcissist game of, of manipulation and destruction and deceit and lies and manipulation. That's what the narcissist does. There are so many different layers to this topic. I do want to explain to you that the narcissist, if you really think about the narcissist in your past life or your past relationship, I should say, did they have many long-term friends? They didn't. They had people they shuffled in and out like a deck of cards and they used them whenever they could. Whenever the narcissist found it need necessary to call on one of these people, hey, let's get together for a cup of coffee or hey, let's, can we use the beach house, things like that, that's what the narcissist did. The narcissist never pushed their boundaries with these people. What they did is they kept them at an arm's length distance and they utilized them for whatever the narcissist needed. Now these people did not understand what was going on and many of them still don't to this day. However, some of them may, as in immediate family members, who protect the narcissist vigorously. And I mean vigorously. That's for a whole different video. I touched on it months ago and I can do another video on that, that the, that the narcissistic family, they do know that the narcissist is a narcissist. Believe me when I say it. I can go into so many details on that, they do. But getting back on track, the narcissist is an insecure coward. They're also a bully at the same time. So what they do is, in order, in order for them to establish a long-term relationship, um, let, let's take the friend, for example. In order for them to do that, what they would have to do is wear that mask the whole time. Are they capable of doing it? Not really. Think about how difficult it was for the narcissist to wear the mask in your relationship. You get my point? That mask gets heavy for the narcissist, extremely heavy. And also, they can't risk it with a friend. Let's say, let's say they do have some friends that are relatively long-term. They usually don't, but let's say they do. And they spend, an, like, let's pretend they go on a vacation for a month, or they spend a month together for some reason. That mask will slip, and that friend will see the narcissist for who they are. Believe me, it will happen. That's why you'll, you'll notice that the narcissist surrounds themselves with interchangeable people. And you, on the outside, or let's say you were the significant other, whoever you are, if you're looking at this and you're saying to yourself, wow, the flavor of the month this month was, was these people, now they're kind of gone and here come some new people I, don't, I really don't know. That's on purpose, why? Because the new people that you don't know, these are giving the narcissist new forms of supply. And you may be scratching your head like, why, why are there always new people coming over their house? 
or why who are these people that like there's always new people I don't get it and they never seem to stick around for that long that's right that's on purpose it's because the narcissist is getting jaded with your supply and they need new supply in any way they can that's why they're always juggling people think about it it's true and that's why these people don't stick around long the reason they don't stick around long is because many of these people a catch on that the narcissists there's something off about them there's something quite not right or B the narcissist already got their supply did their test with these people and said to themselves no you, you, you don't really you can't offer exactly what I need so I'm gonna actually conveniently just you know kind of drop you and I'm gonna replace you with other people that's what they do the narcissist is always testing people think about this when you're at a dinner party or a, a, a barbecue whatever notice how they're always walking around talking to different people they can't get enough of different people they just want to meet them and talk and the reason why guys is because they're looking for new versions of supply new sources of supply and flat out that's what they're doing they're not trying it's not like they're 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 being kumbaya and saying hey I want to meet everybody you know this is great you know let's get together next week no they're literally picking people's brains as quickly as they can kind of like you know I'm not being sarcastic here but it's kind of like on when they used to do those speed dating things I don't know if they do them anymore but it's like I, I from what I understand like you get like an hour and you have to meet 20 people in in an hour you get three minutes with each people and you, you, you get to know about them within three minutes then the next and the buzzer rings and you go to the next person next person, which absolutely is ridiculous if you if you want my opinion but the point is and by the way dating apps are horrible you should not be doing that protect yourself but the thing is with that that would be a narcissist dream why because they get to meet 30 uh, 20 people in an hour and ask them any question they want to and figure out if they get to match up with them that's exactly what the narcissist is doing at, at parties bur uh, barbecues things like that they're doing reconnaissance missions and they're trying to figure out who can make them better who can elevate them in a short period of time or maybe a long period of time but that's what they do so the narcissist also will surround themselves with people that are insecure people that have no no self-worth or self values and you may say well Andrew what about you you married one what, what, what where do you fit in you're right I did have low boundaries I did have self-worth but I had low boundaries and I personally wanted to believe in love and being a good stepdad and being a husband and doing doing everything the proper way I didn't realize I was in a relationship with a narcissist I do now and here we are on the channel my whole point is this is the enablers the people that maintain the narcissist empty promises and uh, mask and charade and lies and the way they work they don't know any better most of them don't know any better and they'll believe whatever the narcissist says you see the narcissist needs people to pump up their ego to make them feel whole to make them feel like they're worth something to, to mirror back some kind of reaction to make them uh, to help them regulate themselves these enablers they may know what they're doing they may not the point is they stick around why because they don't have any any self-worth for themselves they don't realize that their life is so much more important than enabling or validating the narcissist life but yet they continue to be there day after day week after week month after month this is the enablers now the flavor of the month people the people that the narcissist interchanges and keeps them around hanging around these people are just like they're we're all a pawn in the narcissist game let's be real we are but these people are, are really lower on the totem pole for the narcissist because they, they don't spend much time with them however they offer the narcissist quick jolts of supply picture it like a, a cappuccino you drink a cappuccino boom you get like three hours of caffeine or whatever it is that's what these people are and when when the, the narcissist uses these people it will be for a short period of time because they don't have much more to offer the narcissist and then they will replace them but the narcissist always surrounds themselves with people that can be fooled by the narcissist behavior actions sense of self all the grandiosity that the narcissist believes that they have these people basically they want to believe in the narcissist and they believe the narcissist is such a good person and just so forthright that they they're, they're caught up in it it's like a mini version of you in the love bomb it really is you see when you were with the narcissist at let's say a romantic relationship for example you were caught up in the love bomb and then you were deval discarded rinse wash repeat right these are mini versions of that it, it's I'm not saying sexual or, but it, it's like the narcissist will adore them for a little while give them some adoration give them a little slice of what it's like to be with the narcissist like wow the narcissist is actually listening to me this is unbelievable I'm gonna offer more and boom next thing you know here they are they're caught up just like you were on a much smaller level but the narcissist doesn't care why because they're getting their supply they're getting what they need and they don't care about other people they don't care one bit one bit about anybody other than getting supply 
So the narcissist will surround themselves with these people, also flying monkeys. The flying monkeys, in my opinion, are some of the most despicable people ever. Why? Because they're as cowardly as the narcissist. However, what they do is they're a, basically like a double agent because they'll walk up to you or contact you or say hi to your face, whatever they do. Put on some charm if they have it. By the way, not everybody has charm. I should do a video on that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a video on that. Charm is a very unique attribute that many of us, some of us have, some of us don't, but charm is very unique. The point is the flying monkey, they're going to walk, you know, hey, how's it going? Is everything good? You know, what are you doing? And what they're doing is, like I said, they're being a double agent. They're, they're getting reconnaissance and information about your whereabouts, your, your whereabouts and your, your updates and everything, and they're literally reporting it back to the narcissist. It's disgusting. It really is. But yet, flying monkeys are all over this planet, and you may not even know where a flying monkey is. It could be on social media. It could be your next-door neighbor. It could be a school teacher. It could be a business associate. It could be a flying monkey through a flying monkey. It, 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 there are so many different levels. It's amazing. But the narcissist uses these people also. And yes, I do mean uses. You see, the flying monkey actually outsmarts themselves because they think that what they're doing is getting intelligence and reconnaissance and, and understanding about where you are, what you're doing, your updates, basically. When in fact, they're just the biggest pawn of all because the narcissist doesn't care about a flying monkey. The only purpose to the narcissist of a flying monkey, I hope that English was okay, was to get information. And the narcissist is using the flying monkey just like they used you, just like they used me. Do you see how this works? The narcissist basically is one person that surrounds themselves with anybody that will benefit them. That's how it is. It's, it's with extended family, it's with family, it's with kids, it's with neighbors. You name it, that's how it is. The narcissist cares about one person and it's the narcissist exclusively. So guys, the next time you, you look back on your narcissistic relationship or if you see a narcissist, watch who, who they surround themselves with. Watch who they're, they're talking with. Most of these people have no idea what they're dealing with and are just trying to get praise or accolades or attention from the narcissist. Why? Because they can't self-worth. They, they, they don't know their self-worth. They don't know their own value. And they don't, they're not comfortable in their own skin yet. I don't know if they ever will be. But what I do know is these people, mainly the flying monkeys, disgusting human beings, just like the narcissist. Actually worse on some levels. But guys, I'm going to close the video out now. I hope you liked it. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. God bless you. Namaste. Please have a great afternoon, a great day, wherever you are on the globe. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Be blessed. Guys, remember, stay away from the narcissist. Maintain no contact. Block them, delete them, move on. Your life is just beginning if you do this. I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.